Hello, I'm Sam from Solid State Logic, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the next SSL Live software release. SSL Live version 4.11 introduces a variety of new features and updates to the entire lineup of SSL Live consoles, ranging from the L100 through to the L550, as well as our offline editor Salsa. These updates allow for integrated control of wider audio system infrastructure directly from the console, as well as brand new audio sculpting tools and manipulation tools. We have also updated numerous console functions to improve speed, usability and overall surface interaction that add and expand functionality even further from the previous Live 4.10 release. Let's take a look at some of these headline features. The SSL Live console is now capable of remotely controlling external third-party devices over its connectivity network ports. This allows for a tighter integration between a wider audio infrastructure, such as a loudspeaker processing system for example. One of the many headline features of this release is the introduction of Elisa system control for immersive audio as part of a complete creative ecosystem. SSL and Elisa have worked closely to deliver tightly integrated control of the Elisa immersive loudspeaker system directly from the live console interface. Elisa sources can be associated with either mono or stereo console channels or stems and are provided with full control of Elisa pan, distance, width, elevation as well as aux send levels for each source. Elisa Master Control is also accessible from the console via an OSC path assignment of the console surface. I will take a deeper look at Elisa integration and setup in a future instructional video. We have also added control support of OSC or Open Sound Control directly from the console for communicating with other OSC capable devices. Devices can be controlled directly from console audio pass if the device is related to audio processing on that path. These controls display with up to 8 continuous functions and 8 switch functions that can be defined per device. These can work as either path specific or global functions for the device and can be set up and defined in the external control menu of the console. The other control option is with dedicated OSC paths on the console. These paths have no console audio processing capability, but allow external device control to be easily integrated into your workflow on the Surface faders. OSC paths are created in the console configuration menu and assigned to the Surface via the layer manager. One of the other benefits of the OSC integration is that SSL Sigma analog summing unit can now be remotely controlled from the console. This allows for a zero latency analog path from a vocalist mic to that in-ear monitoring system. More information on Sigma can be found in the link in this video's description. Another question we often get asked about is remote connectivity to our live consoles. We already have an extensive range of control options including Salsa and Taco, all the way through to our remote fader tiles and surface options. SSL Live 4.11 takes this further and introduces TeamViewer remote control of the live console range. TeamViewer is run directly on the console for remote access, enabling remote support, remote configuration, as well as full surface control. This means that engineers working from home or anywhere in the world with a standard internet connection can directly access the console and all software control features from any computer. TeamViewer is a direct connection to the main console interface and therefore controls the main console GUI rather than providing a remote second position like the Salsa application. Whatever controls you interact with or any changes you make remotely will be processed and appear exactly as if you were sat directly in front of the console. The SSL DSP team have been hard at work once again and they've introduced a number of new audio toys for us to sculpt with. The first of them being the primary source isolator. The primary source isolator is designed to make feedback and stage bleed from open mics disappear in front of your very ears. Opening an instance of the Sorcerer displays an intuitive interface for adjusting the detection threshold and amount of attenuation to allow desired source signals to pass through while casting the vanishing spell on background noise. 
A carefully selected set of time constants provides precise control over the speed at which the sorcerer works its magic. The Blitzer introduces a completely new compressor algorithm to the live console. The Blitzer is an ultra versatile compressor that can produce soft saturating compression to explosive brick wall limiting. Key features include 10 unique compression ratios from 1 to 1 for adding character without affecting dynamic range to 20 to 1 and blitz modes for ultimate slamming. An auto makeup switch to compensate output gain based on input gain and the compression ratio used. A mix control for parallel compression. A sidechain high pass filter and parametric EQ for tuning the detection signal. Adjustable transient shaping. A drive control for adding vintage style harmonic distortion and an analog style gain reduction meter. The legendary SSL bus compressor has been updated with a number of features, including a high pass filter in the sidechain, improved performance at high gains, and most importantly, a classic animated analog style gain reduction meter. These improvements have been added without compromising the number of bus compressor instances that can be used within the effects rack. Version 4.10 software bought the ability to display an FFT analyzer on the Path EQ detail view. The version 4.11 software extends this feature with the option to add the analyzer to the effects rack 6 and 10 band parametric EQ modules. Live 4.11 now introduces a number of effects presets for our effects rack plugins. These allow you to quickly dial in effect settings as a start point when setting up an initial show file or mix. New filtering options for path presets. A new fast setup menu. New user key additions. Event manager improvements. Automation improvements. And talkback inject to stem and master paths. Remember to download the latest version of Salsa so you can experience these new features for yourself. Thanks for watching.